Hello Virgos, this is your reading for <coughs> the 5th through the 7th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys, as always, for coming and checking me out. Hope everybody is doing well today. Let's see, please show me messages for Virgo in love for April 5th through April 7th, Virgos in love. Please show me messages for Virgos. Oh, okay, so I flipped over two cards. Um, we have the Magician and the Eight of Wands. I feel like um, you guys are really trying to, you know, make something happen here. You're really trying to um, uh, change some things in your life, okay? I'm getting definitely that you want stability as I see the Four of Wands under the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm feeling also like you are breaking free either from a relationship or, you know, trying to break free and gain your own personal stability here. Okay. You love somebody very dearly here though. Um, and you're really not sure, you know, what you want to do about this person I feel like you are communicating with them um, you definitely would like to be happy with this person and stable but there I'm feeling you guys going back and forth okay you definitely would like to see forward movement in your life here okay and then the four of wands comes up For some of you, you know, you're already um, separated from someone, and I feel you guys either moving in with somebody, moving towards somebody, communicating with someone about a relationship and um, being with them, okay? Others of you are actually uh, moving locations and moving in with a roommate. And then we have the devil here. There's a very toxic connection, I feel, um, in this situation where either some of you are dealing with someone that's a Capricorn that um, may have some addictions or they feel strongly uh, dependent upon you guys here. Okay. Please show me more about the magician. Three of Swords, something very hurtful that um, you guys have been through, and I'm feeling like you want to communicate that to somebody just how badly you know they disappointed you, hurt you, whatever they did to you. Okay, let's see. Please show me more about the Eight of Wands here. The Ace of Wands. You guys are definitely, I feel like, wanting to start over, um, but you're you're tired of a certain situation. You're tired um, of a certain way of being. I'm feeling like, you know, you have felt very stuck in a situation for a while now, and um, you're wanting to move forward. Okay. Please show me more about the Four of Wands here. Then we have the Nine of Swords. You really don't know what to do about this situation. Again, I'm feeling that for those of you who are, um, you know, wanting to be happy with someone, you go back and forth. You're not really sure about this individual, okay? The situation really worries you. You feel like you can never be happy with them, yet still you're, you're feeling drawn to them with this um, double energy having a hard time detaching. Okay. Please show me more about the devil energy here. The Knight of Swords. I feel like this person is quick with the lip. Um, they may uh, say things that come across very hurtful, very angry. Okay. They, they may speak before they, they think. You know, but definitely I'm getting that, you know, there, there's something that you want to, to say to this individual. There's something that you want to say to them. What does the Knight of Swords want to say? 
What does Virgo want to say to this person? What does Virgo want to say to this person? <laughs> that you feel like your hands are tied. You, you've done all that you could do. It's like, there's no more that I can do. I have done enough, okay? I, I have fought for this relationship. I've done all that I can do, and you've hurt me time and time again. There's no, more, there's no more that I can contribute to this situation without basically, you know, shooting myself in the foot, okay? Like you just want to be free. You want to be free here from this person. Definitely. Please show me more about this Three of Swords. Please show me more about this Three of Swords energy. The Seven of Wands. You're definitely wanting to see some change. And the thing is, um, there's something that you feel very hurt around coming from this person okay and it's almost like this person is trying to talk you into believing that you're not as hurt as you are and you're sticking to your guns like yeah this is what has happened this is what has been happening I am no longer standing for this okay it's time for me it's time for me to be happy. It's time for me to have some forward movement, see some change in my life, to gain my happiness, my personal stability. Okay? I'm feeling like I cannot get away from you, from this devil energy, whoever this person is for you. You're feeling like you're chained to this person, a lot of you having a hard time getting out and feeling free and feeling happy here. Who's coming towards Virgo? Who's coming towards Virgo? Hmm. Aquarius energy here. Um, somebody that's wanting to basically, you know, move on. They're really not wanting to address um, addressing the issues with you guys. They just want to continue. They want to move forward. They want to let bygones be bygones. This person, I feel like, is evasive, okay? Whoever this is. The Nine of Pentacles. And I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to be single. You want to release a relationship here, I feel. Okay. Please show me more about this Six of Swords energy. Please show me more about this Six of Swords energy. Yeah, this is somebody that is very immature, like, as far as communication goes. Um, they can be really flip at the mouth, okay? Really hurtful. And then later on, you know, try to take things back. Or they didn't mean it. But they repeatedly say or do things um, to hurt you guys here, okay? Please show me more about the Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. You guys just want to be happy, okay? You just want to heal from the situation and grow by yourself, I feel. This is all about you having self-love and doing what's right for you guys, okay? So we have um, Gemini, Virgo, maybe Scorpio's here. Aquarius is here very strong. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, Capricorn is here. Aquarius is here. I think I already said that. And um, could be another Virgo like yourselves here as well. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon.